Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Karen's Kitchen. I wasn't sure I was going to come on today because I didn't know what I was going to do. I was not probably going to do a cooking scope, but since Erlene was messaging me and she found this. Hi, good to see you. Welcome. Since she found this on YouTube, um, she told me about it, so I looked it up, and it looks like a real good recipe. And the lady that made it, she blended it in a blender. Um, so I'm going to take it, and I'm going to blend it in the deluxe cooking blender. Not as long as she did in hers because she didn't have this blender. She had a, a real personal one, but I'm going to put it in here and blend it on custom for a little bit. And then you want to get it real, real smooth, so I'm going to plan on doing that. Um, good to see everybody coming in, and thank you for coming in. I'm glad to see everybody today. Um, this is a simple recipe. This could be a dessert. Uh, I'm, it's still, I, I'm not doing, I don't do them every day. I don't do them every day. I, only, I, I do them every once in a while. So I do more, more cooking scopes than anything. I do them when I want, when I choose to do them. So, um, if you don't want to watch this scope, then you don't have to be here. Um, if all you want for religious, then I suggest you just go into religious scopes and stay out of the cooking scopes because they're not interesting to you at all. But I'm, um, hi, good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Um, like I said, I wasn't planning on coming on. And I was going to come on yesterday, but I hadn't slept too well the night before because I had, I don't know if I had um, got a muscle spasm or if I had pulled a muscle in my back, but it hurt so bad. I couldn't hardly walk. I couldn't hardly stand up. I had a hard time sleeping at night. I didn't take anything either. I let it kind of... Um, take care of itself and it's and doesn't even hurt today so it it was gone at, um last night when i went to bed but i just i just couldn't do hardly function it was terrible i just sat in my easy chair and just relaxed and trying to sit back and and keep it keep it from hurting anymore oh yeah me too but it, if you've ever had those days when you get a a backache or a, you must muscle spasm or you pull a muscle it really hurts and it was about this part of my back on the side towards the middle of the back usually I have lower back pain but this was in the middle of my back towards towards the yeah you know, middle of my back on the side and my daughter thought, first thought it was my appendix I says nope it's not my appendix because I've had that out for years when I got my hysterectomy I had my appendix removed so I knew it wasn't that so I probably pulled a muscle somewhere yeah I know I know and I probably I probably pulled a muscle, but it felt so bad. It hurt so bad. And I wanted to take Anna leave, and I says, no, I'm just going to let it try to go away itself. And I, and I just let the pain, you know, I just dealt with the pain. It wasn't easy to deal with because I was crying most of the time because it hurt so bad. But finally the pain subsided, and I asked the Lord to take the pain away, and he did. And it subsided, and finally I was able to function. So I thought I'd come in here today. What I'm going to do tomorrow, I may not do a cooking scope tomorrow of any kind, but... Well, only time will tell because I never know from one day to the next what I'm going to be doing. Um, I, I, have, I have to, when I get up in the morning, I kind of look on Pinterest to see what there is to do. And then I decide from there if I'm going to do a, a cooking scope or not. Because it is expensive to do these when you haven't got the money for the food. You know, and, I gotta, and I'm on a fixed income, so i got to be careful anyway. So I try to avoid fixing something that I haven't got the money for or I haven't got the... Um, food for but since I've got the food on this one I'm going to come in here and do this I don't know where everybody's at today but I'm hoping people will start coming in um it's kind of uh disheartening when I don't get the people in here and Alexis gets 800 to 900 in hers every day and I don't understand what the problem oh, well I think I do understand it it's because I cook vegan and she doesn't um because people don't want to always see vegan stuff so therefore uh Yes, it can. And I think because I, I'm a vegan, I don't get as many people in here as she, as she does because she's not vegan. You know, I'm not trying to compete with her or anything, but it is disheartening to see how many she gets, and I get very little. And I have got over 3,000 followers, and I don't get half of them in here. And it, it's really disheartening. I, I don't know where all my followers are, but for some unknown reason, they choose not to come in. Now, <laughs> I do religious scopes or, or walking scopes or... Um, you know, a tutorial scopes on crocheting or knitting. I get lots of people, but on my cooking scopes, I don't get them. It, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense where my viewers are. But if you could share this out so that people can hear, because people lately have not been getting the notifications, as I understand it. And some people don't get their notifications 
for Periscope when a, when a um, somebody comes on. Every time they update it, the, the it seems like the notifications just aren't there. So if you so if you share share this out with people that and so they'll get the notifications because I'm getting a lot of people in here I don't know, which is good. I mean I'm getting more new followers all the time, but the ones that normally come in here, there's Erlene. The ones that normally come in here, there's John. And the ones that normally come here just don't just aren't in here. Um, oh good, good, thank you. Hi, good to see you. I'm doing that. I'm doing that recipe that you sent me on on message. On, on, on message. We're gonna do it in the box cooking blender and see how it comes out. So, thank you for inviting your followers, out, Erlene. Um, when that's one way. Yeah, I'm gonna try this. I wrote it out so I wouldn't have to use my iPad because of the video there. So I, I just I oh actually I printed it out so I have the so I have I have a hard copy of it. And I got everything out here. I just haven't got it measured out. But I wanted to make this. I know I have made. Chia seed pudding. Well, there's Simone. Good to see you. I've made chia seed pudding before. But, and hi, Crystal. Good to see you. Welcome. I've made chia seed pudding. I think chocolate chia seed pudding before, but not in this way. Um, what I've made before, you just kind of mix it up a little bit, but you don't blend it. Um, oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, we're going to blend, use the deluxe cooking blender from Pampered Chef. Normally, I with the chia seed pudding, I just stir it. You know, but you got all those chia seeds, and and this you don't want the chia seeds um, be lumpy because it they may, it makes it a little bit lumpy. I uh, mean, chia seeds are good, and then you put it in the refrigerator, and and it'll and she said it'll eventually thicken up um, as it as it cools or as it chills because the chia seeds will eventually absorb all the moisture, and they do. I'm gonna have it sitting out here on the counter too while I'm doing this periscope, so you can watch it how it how it thickens up, but. I'm going to do it in my cooking blender, and I'll probably put it in one of these bowls I got for Christmas, so that'll be, make a good pudding bowl. But anyway, I'm going to get this started in a little bit, because I don't know how many I'm going to get in here, but I'll tell you what I'm putting in here. As I'm putting it in here, um, very simple. Um, let me go open the door and let Carmen out. Carmen, you need to go out. Okay, there you go. There. She wanted to go out, so I decided to let her out. Okay, it says a half a cup of chia seeds. So I'm going to get my half cup measure. I've already got um, half cup, and I'm going to put the chia seeds in here. Just use this small thing that came with the chia seed. That'll make it a lot easier to put it in here, because if you work with chia seeds, you know how the chia seeds can stick to everything. They do. They, oh, uh, and then I go and spill some yet. They stick to everything. They're, they're hard to, to work with. They're very small, but they are... Put the what's hit was here. It's a little bit more than half cup. I'm just gonna stick it in here. I'll put it back in the container. That's for sure. Try to get it. Try to get as much as I can. I'll clean the rest of it up later. Put that in there. It's not that much. And I'll put this back. Okay. Now calls for two pinches of salt. And everybody knows that I use sea salt. Um. I guess a pinch would be pretty much between your two fingers. Just a couple pinches of salt. Wouldn't take very much, I suppose. I might make them large pinches. There we go. And I'll put this back. Okay. And then one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And everybody knows I don't use the alcoholic one. And let me go ahead and put this back, too, while I'm at it so I don't spill it. Drop it. Okay. Um, one quarter cup of raw cacao powder. Now, I don't have, I don't use cacao, but I do use um, carob, so I'm going to go ahead and use that. And I'll set this for, I'll kind of take this, more of these out of here. And I'll set this for a quarter cup. And I'll just, I'll just use this to get this in here so it doesn't make a mess. It's got to be washed anyway. And I'm making a mess again. It's real easy to do that, let me tell you. If 
everybody knows that's the uh, the Pampered Chef uh, measure all. I got my dishes here, dishwater here. Might as well just clean this up. My wet rag here, clean everything up as I go. It makes it a lot easier for you to clean up as you go. That way you don't have a mess to clean up later. I'll go ahead and put this back. Okay, now it calls for a quarter cup of a quarter. I think it's a quarter cup of pure maple syrup. It didn't come. It didn't come out as a quarter cup. But I think that's what it is. It's a quarter cup of pure maple syrup. Okay, and I'll just put it on this side. I've got some maple syrup, and if I wasn't going to have, if I wasn't going to use a maple syrup, I'd, if I didn't have ma maple syrup, I would use the agave. But since I have maple syrup here, I'll just go ahead and use this. and put this back. This is supposed to help sweeten it just a little bit. And then my dish water. Get that cleaned up. And then if I have anything else to make, I'll just use my other big cup of... And then, uh, okay, I got the carob and the maple syrup. One and a half cups of non-dairy milk, and I'll use, use this for that. And she used um, she used oat milk, but I don't have any oat milk, so I'm just go ahead and use almond milk. She says almond milk's okay, but she thought oat milk would make it creamier. Now there's no specification which milk to use. She said any non-dairy milk. So I'm going to use my I like my my almond milk. Everybody knows I use almond milk. Okay, where's the cup and a half? I know it's on here. I missed. Oh, there it is. Okay. This is going to take quite a bit of milk. That's all right. I buy these. I buy these by the almost by the bucket folds anyway. I use them quite a bit. There we go. So. I'll just put this in the water too. Wash it. Okay. Now put it in the water. Okay. Let me go ahead and put this back. And then optional. Non-dairy whip topping. We don't need, I'm not going to use that. I'm not going to put a whip topping or anything on it for right now. And I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. So you can go ahead and watch this. And everybody knows this is the Pampered Chef cooking blender. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, it's on custom right now. And I'm just going to push this in and set it for probably two. And I'll just, and I'll just push it and let it go. It doesn't have to blend for very long. But you want to get all those chia seeds all mixed in there. Now the carrot pot is going to make it darker than your cacao would. Cacao is going to make it on the lighter side. But this is going to make it on the darker side. Well, oh, thank you for the super hearts. I want to make sure it's blended really good. Thank you for sharing on Facebook with me. I'll blend it for about a minute or so, so it gets blended real good. But the timer's here, and you can see it's time. Yes, it is a very simple recipe. Very simple. I'm going to blend it for about a minute. Uh, she blended it for three minutes because she used a ninja. Well, I want to make sure it's blended good, so a, a minute should be long enough. Uh, I could have used the body mix, but I wanted to try this. Okay, there we go. I'll cancel that. All right. Put this in the water. Okay. All right. Pull this off. Right. And she said it'll thicken up. So it'll thicken up as you. And I'll put it in here. This is because I'm going to use this bowl. Put it in here, and she said it thickens up. Thickens up. It's, it's going. Look, you can see. It's, look, look how thick it is. It'll get thicker. It gets real thick. I'm going to use a spatula. I'll use my big one here. Try to get this out. There. Now it looks a lot better than just taking a, a spoon to it and trying to... Um, there, you see. Look at, look at that. 
Let me taste it a little bit. Let me get another spoon. And let me taste it. Let me taste it and see what it tastes like. Really good, but this will thicken up. This will thicken up as you, as you, uh, no, I'm going to stop this, cancel this, or shut this off. This will thicken up as, as you, as you put it in, and you put it in the refrigerator, it'll thicken up more because it'll absorb all the liquid. Um, but you don't have the, you know, the seed, chia seeds on top because they've been blended in there. You still can taste them. They're still there, but it's a lot smoother than, than, uh, um, it would be if you didn't put it in a blender. Now she had a simple blender that she put it in a personal blender, but she blended it for about three minutes, and I blended it for a minute. I figured that was plenty of plenty long enough to blend it. And I will um, clean it out. I'm gonna get some water in here and kind of rinse this out while I'm waiting. Oh, well, this side doesn't. It's plugged up a little bit, so the water doesn't run down. But it'll. I'm gonna take care of that. So. There we go. Just kind of a little bit. Just trying to trying to. Um, that's plugged up. Don't worry about that. But anyway, this is what it looks like. Um, looks really good. Um, it's carob. It's just got your carob. It's got milk. It's got maple syrup. It's got uh, vanilla extract, a little bit of salt, the chia seeds. That's all it's got. So it's basically one, two, three, four, five, six ingredients. If you don't. If you count the salt, um, so that's basically all there is. Just a a real a real simple pudding. Um, doesn't take long to make. And it does look good. It, it really does. It's not real sweet, and I'm and I'm kind of glad it's not real because you don't need it real sweet. Um, but uh, it's going to be good enough, I think, to uh, um, for, to eat. And everything in here is raw. You got your carob powder that's raw. You got your, um, basically that's raw, and you got your your non-dairy milk. You can use any non-dairy milk you want. If you got oat milk, now she used oat milk, which would make it creamier. This isn't quite, probably quite as creamy as it could be, because I used almond milk. But you can use oat milk, you can use rice milk, you can use soy milk. I would think you could use any, any of those. Um... Oh, I probably could have added more maple syrup. Yeah, I could have added more. I didn't though early enough. It's already made, so I'm going to leave it go now, but... Um, I think this will be fine. I can always, you know, compensate later on, but it's going to be okay. You know, it's just a, just a simple recipe. Um, not, not, it's going to be eaten for breakfast or maybe you can eat it for dessert, you know, um, whatever you choose to eat it with. And, and carob, carob is all natural. So I wanted to, I wanted to use that. And I don't, like I said, I don't use cacao. People will use cacao, but I don't use that. Um, I don't. I, I don't understand what cacao is all about, but people 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 will use cacao and they say we're not supposed to use it. So I use the carob instead. Although I do have cacao powder, and I got that before I realized we weren't supposed to use it. So <laughs> I I often I know it's not as bad as your as your regular chocolate, but it but uh, still I don't think you should be having it as much, you know, because that's that's why I use carob, and it does make it darker. Your regular um your cacao won't make it as dark. And it's still going to be all. It's still going to be awesome. It's going to taste really good. Um, as soon as the chia seeds absorb all that moisture, it'd even be better yet. Um, it'll set up in the refrigerator, and it'll absorb. And it's getting thick. You can see it's thickening up right now. But in the refrigerator, it thickens right up, and it, and it takes all that moisture, and and gets rid of it. She said when she first started making this, she would just stir it and not blend it. And she said she didn't. She thought it was gritty and it was icky. And just didn't taste good. You can still see there are some chia seeds there, but they're not as 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 uh, um, easy to tell as they were because I blended it in the in the blender and kind of got rid of the um, the grittiness of it. Because um, some people don't like the grittiness of, of pudding, and I'll admit that chia seeds can make it taste uh, can make it a little gritty. Although chia seeds are good for you, they are nice and healthy. But people don't really like chia seed pudding and the grit. But I recommend chia seeds. If you can get a hold of them and, and uh, you like them, use them. They, they're, they're very small. They're very heart healthy. They're very hearty. You can put chia seeds in so many things. You can put them in smoothies, um, which I have done before. You can put them in smoothies. Uh, 
I wouldn't, you could probably put them on ice cream if you wanted to, but I, I would just put them in maybe in smoothies and, and some of your juices maybe or whatever. Um, welcome to those that are coming in and here's my chocolate chia pudding that I made um, using just a few ingredients and I'll tell you what I, what I put in here. I used uh, half a cup of chia seeds um, and they're organic, non-GMO, two pinches of salt, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, one quarter cup of pure, a raw cacao powder, which I use carob, um, one quarter cup of pure maple syrup, um, one and a half cups of non-dairy milk. And then at the, at the optional, you can put non-dairy whipped topping for serving, which I don't have any, so I'll just eat it the way it is. But uh, thank, uh, welcome to Periscope for the very first time. Thank you for coming in. Everybody that's coming in, thank you for coming in. This is a simple recipe. Didn't take long to make. Um, I didn't find this on Pinterest. This was sent to me in message this morning by Erlene. She goes on to on YouTube and she follows this person called Vegan as Fork. So I subscribe to her videos too because she's a complete vegan and she makes a lot of things. So now that I've subscribed to her, I'll probably find a lot of recipes from her on there that I can do on here too as well. Um, I've seen her re her um, YouTube videos before, but I didn't know who it was until she sent it to me. And I thought, I'm going to look that up. So I looked at it and I watched it on my iPad, and I says, yeah, I remember, I know who this lady is. I just didn't follow her before, so I subscribed to her channel, and uh, I want it, and I'll be able to go in and, and then be able to follow her and, and see whenever she posts something and make other things of hers, too, because I know everything that she makes is good. I mean, she's a, she's a vegan. There's other ones on there on the YouTube, too, that are vegan. Um, I can't think of some of them offhand. Um, but there are a few that I follow that are vegan. Um, there's one guy that makes uh, things in the Vitamix, and he's he's vegan. He's complete vegan, and he'll put, he'll make things. He uses the Vitamix and mixes things in, in it. Um, so he makes a lot of smoothies and and drinks and what have you. Um, but I, it, it is nice that you can uh, uh, find somebody that you know makes what you like to make. Now I'm not saying that you ha that you um, have to be vegan to like this. No, you don't. You don't have to be vegan to even like this. You can use your cacao powder if you want to. Um, if you don't want to use carob, go and use your cacao powder. I'll, when I post this up on my vegan page, I will tell everybody exactly what I used. I'll tell them that I use carob. Um, and thankful, <laughs> Erlene's always observant to stuff, and, and she she uh, pointed out something to me that I had that I made a mistake on and I corrected it. I won't go, won't go into detail what it was, but it had to do with one of my videos. I made a mistake, so I had to go and correct it. So now it's fixed, so people can go in there and watch that now. I mean, people might look at that and say, what the heck is she talking about? Well, I had the wrong title to a re to one of my videos I had done, and I had, to, and I had to find it on Facebook, and I deleted it off of YouTube, went and found it on Facebook, and then re-uploaded it, so with all the new information. So it should be there now. It should be just the way, it, and I even had to correct it on Facebook. I had some problems. I had to edit it on Facebook, but I could put it up on YouTube because I had some mistakes in it. So I corrected those, and then I uploaded it to, to the YouTube app, and now it's up there. So it's so it's perfect now. But I'm, if it wouldn't been for her, I would have never known it because I never. I've got so many videos on my U, on my um, camera roll that I'm not keeping them straight. And if I don't get them uploaded to YouTube right away, they sit there. And so that's what happened. I thought it was the fudge recipe, and it was another one. So I have to look for the fudge recipe now, go and find it, upload it to YouTube, and then take it off my camera roll. So as I do them, I take them off the camera roll to kind of kind of keep it down so I don't get confused. But basically what I normally do is I, I see them on my camera roll, and I'll start playing them to see what that, because I always tell you what I'm making at the very beginning. So I find out what it is I'm making, and then I go find that on Facebook, and then copy it and paste it to my YouTube channel so I can so I can upload the video there. Um, and that's what I intend tend to do with my, because I haven't done the sh uh, the um, fudge yet that I did the other day. I need to get that up there now. <laughs> now, I, I thought it was up there, but it's not up there now. So I'm gonna have to redo it and find the recipe and put it up there in the right in the right one. But uh, thankful to Erlene, I, I was a little upset at first because I didn't have time to take care of it, but I thought, I've gotta get this done, you know. And it can be overwhelming. So that's one reason why I'm not coming in here every day and doing these scopes and putting stuff on YouTube because it's getting overwhelming. I'm getting uh, overwhelmed with everything that comes through and I have to take care of everything. And it just gets to the point where I'm getting confused and I'm getting so overwhelmed that I'm making mistakes and I don't want to do that. So I've got to, 
because I don't always get to my YouTube videos right away. And if I if I get YouTube get them to them right away when I see them, then I wouldn't have to worry about it. So I'm going to start doing that. That's what I want. My resolutions is to start um, posting my YouTube videos up when they come up on my camera roll because they never show up on the camera roll right away, and I don't know why. This is, this is odd, but they don't show up on the camera roll right away. And when they do appear, then I go ahead and I upload them to, to I'm going to upload it to YouTube. Now, you know, no matter, even, even if it's uh, 9 o'clock at night and I want to go to sleep, I'll just start uploading it so I get it out of the, out of the way. Because I need to, I need to keep my uh, camera roll clean because I'm going to start doing more videos again. And <laughs> all the videos I do, you know, are just piling up. So, um, welcome to everybody coming in. Here's my... <laughs> Here's my pudding. I mixed it in the deluxe cooking blender um, because I wanted to get it smoother. And as you can see, it's a lot smoother. It'll have to go in the refrigerator to set up, <coughs> to set up, and uh, and and uh, come out a lot better than it is now. Let me take a drink of water. This is yeah, it does. It does look good. I've already tasted it, and it tastes pretty good. Um, this is, I'll tell you what it's got in it. It's got a half a cup of chia seeds, uh, two pinches of salt, um, a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Oh, you will. I'm going to start doing, um, my, my, um, crafts too on here. I'm going to start doing my knitting and crocheting. I'm going to start doing those. Plus the long walking scopes, plus my Bible scopes. I'm going to do those too. I'm, I just can't. I'm just not going to do all cooking scopes because I've been basically late, lately been all cooking scopes and nothing else. So I need to start branching out and doing other things too. So that's what I'm going to start doing. So if you give me permission to do so, I want to do that because there may be some people that don't want to see the cooking scopes would like to see the walking scopes or the Bible scopes or the knitting or the craft scopes. Let's put it that way. The knitting or crocheting scope, they want to see that more than cooking. So I'll start doing those too because I seem to get a lot of people in on those. But anyway... This has got chia seeds in it, salt, vanilla extract, carob powder over, over cacao because it talks about having one cup of, uh, one quarter cup of pure cacao. Well, I use carob, um, a quarter cup of pure maple syrup, and one and a half cups of non-dairy milk. And I used almond milk. You can use anything you have. Um, but I already have everything in my, in my pantry, I figured, and my milk in my refrigerator. Um, oh, you love the cooking and the crafting? Awesome! Well, I started making me a, a pair of socks on my on my um, sock loom. It's a real fine gauge loom, and this and it's a regular sock sock yarn that I'm using. It's real thin yarn. It's hard to work with, but when the socks get done, they look like socks that have been professionally made on a on a machine that you buy in the store, and they'll hold up a lot better. I've got patterns for them that I found them on the knitting board website because that's the uh, sock sock. Um, loom I have is from Knitting Board, and, I, and I'm just following that. And right, I'm right to this point now where I'm doing the leg, and I get the leg done, then I'll start the heel. I've got several inches to do on the leg, and then I'll do the heel. Hi, John. Good to see you. Welcome. Here's my my chocolate chia pudding. Um, I, I blended it up in the deluxe cooking blender because I want I wanted to get it a little smoother. Um, I think while while I'm at it, I'm going to get some water in here, and we'll go wash this out. So I get everything out of there. Um, hi, good to see you. Welcome. And I'll try to get this all done up. I'll get some. Put three cups of water in here, and I'm going to clean this out. I try to rinse it out, but I want to. I want to. And I'll put some water in here with some soap, and I'll wash it. Get some soap in here, and then you can watch this work. Those that don't have the deluxe cooking blender, if you've never seen it, it's because it's got a clean cycle, if it, a wash cycle. If you've never seen it being used, you'll be able to see it being used in the wash cycle. Okay. This one here, just this way. It's always a tricky thing to get it on here. Okay, there you can go. Now, I'm just going to rinse the lid off just a little bit. Not too much because I don't really need to rinse it off because it's going to be it's going to get wet again anyway. That's all right. Go ahead. All right. Now I'm gonna put this on. I'm gonna put this on the heated heated wash right there and push this in. And I'm gonna wash this and I'm gonna put a thing of soap in there. I'm gonna put three cups of water in there. 
and it'll clean up real good. Um, um, I do leave the lid. I do leave the lid off of it when I store it, John. I don't have the lid on it. I do leave the lid off when I'm not when I'm not using it because it keeps it aired out. A lot of people like to put it put, put it on tight, but I never do. I always I always store it with the lid off. So you needn't worry about that. Is the I do store it with it, and you can see it's 77 uh, degrees now. The temperature, the water temperature. Um, but I I do like uh. Uh, well, I, well, yeah, I take the lid off when it's clean, John. Yes, I do. I don't leave the, I don't leave the lid on when it's clean. I, I take the lid, I keep the lid, I flip it upside down on top of the, um, the, the, uh, blender. I don't put it on tight. I just lay it up, I lay it upside down on top of it. Let the lid air out and keep it, keep, keep this, uh, so it can air out. I never put the lid on tight. I don't even do it on my Vitamix. I store the lid upside down. I've always done it that way. There's my daughter. Here's my, here's my pudding and I, I decided to make the pudding with the chocolate and this pudding is what Erlene has sent me the in message uh, oh John stop it um, hi sweetie um, and er, the I'm doing a recipe that Erlene found on YouTube and I'll tell you what it's got in it it's got uh, a half a cup of chia seeds two pinches of salt a teaspoon of vanilla extract a quarter cup of raw cacao powder, but I've got carob powder instead. Uh, pure a quarter cup of maple syrup, and, a, and one and a half cups of non-dairy milk. And I used almond milk. She used um, oat milk to make it a little more creamy. But once this goes in the refrigerator, then what the chia seeds will do, it'll absorb all that moisture, and it'll be a lot thicker. It's starting to thicken up now, as you can see. But it tastes pretty good. I've already tasted it. Um, oh, good, good. So it'll work. It'll work. It, it's a real good. It's a real good recipe. I'm gonna post, well, post it up on my vegan page today, and I'll give you the recipe and uh, post it up there. And I'll hopefully, <laughs> and hopefully, when I post it on YouTube, I won't post the wrong, wrong, <laughs> the wrong video. Because I mean, I've done that. I've done that more than once. You know, posted the wrong video and have to delete the video and redo it because I put the wrong video up. It was a video for something else. So this is 118 degrees right now, as you can see. I think it gets up to 120 or something, or 140. No, it gets up to 140. And it's, this is a heated wash. But uh, I'm not going to leave the lid off. You can't, you cannot use this with the lid off anyway, John. If you don't have the deluxe cooking blender, you wouldn't know. But this lid cannot be used with the lid off. It will not work. Because John made a statement. He'd like to see the water go everywhere. You won't see that here. You cannot use it with the lid off. I'm, I'm sorry, but it can't be used with the lid off. And I'm glad I can't use it with the lid off because I don't want my house, my kitchen full of water. You know, <laughs> I, I end up spilling the dog's water. I don't want to spill water out of here. But, you know, you always got somebody that he's so dramatic sometimes. Yes, it's a good safety feature. You're right, Early, and it's a good safety feature. And I'm glad they have that. The Vitamix, I wish they had that too because you can use the Vitamix without the lid on. Um, they should fix, fix that that you can't use it, although I don't use it without the lid. Um, I, I always have the lid on it. Um, the cap is another story if I have to use the, although one time I used it with the, with the other Vitamix I gave my daughter, I used the tamper without the lid on it, and I chewed the tamper up and had to get a different tamper from Amazon. But So finally when I got that tamper, she got the whole new tamper and the Vitamix too, but um, that's all it did is it chewed the, it took a slice right out of it because I, it got stuck at the bottom because I forgot that I can't have the, the lid off. I just take the cap off and I forgot and had the lid off and turned it on. See, that's a bad safety feature. That's, that's really not good. They need to set it up like this. This is awesome. So you can watch it being clean. It does a real good job of cleaning it. So, but this is my pudding. It, it's uh, real, you know, thick enough as it goes in the refrigerator. The chia seeds will soak up all the moisture. And what I did is I blended it for one minute. Now the lady that made this, she used a ninja, either that or an, I don't think it was a ninja, it was some other kind of brand. All of a sudden had a ninja or a neutral bullet. It was a personal one. And she blended it for three minutes. But you don't have to blend it like that in this one. This is a high power blender. That's not. So it don't blend, it takes a longer to blend. But I blended it for a minute and it came out really good, you can see. Um, you still know the chia seeds are there, but they're just it's not gritty. Welcome, Nikki. Good to see you. Thank you for coming in. I'm just cleaning out my blender because I used it to make my pudding. Um, what I did is, is I put everything in here 
Yes, it is. Yeah, it is. It, it will. It sets up on the counter because it gets it. But the reason you put it in the refrigerator is you don't want to eat warm pudding. You know, you want cold pudding. You're not going to let it set up in the refrigerator without cold pudding. Um, what I like about this is you can, you can set this in a well, custom blend. You can put it on any setting that you want. I put it on custom blend too. I just blended it for a minute and it came out really good. Um, I like it for that. I like this blender. The body mix, I don't know how long I'm going to do it mix up. Oh, awesome, Nikki. Awesome. Well, Alexis hasn't come in yet. Thank you for telling us. Yeah, I'm not doing parties this year, at least not for a while. Because um, I've done so many, but I want to give somebody else a chance. There's Alexis. There's my there's my chocolate chia pudding. Um, and I, I did mix it in the blender. That's why I'm washing it out. Because I, I did a custom blend, blended it in here. Um, I have a lady that made it on, on um, okay. And the lady that made it on YouTube. Now this is a this is a uh, a video that Erlene had sent me. She watched this lady on YouTube and she sent it to me in messing on iMessage. So I decided to watch it so that I printed out the printed out the recipe. And it only has it has a half a cup of chia seeds in it, two tea, or two pinches of salt, um, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. A quarter cup of, they say raw cacao powder, but everybody knows I use carob. Um, one quarter cup of pure maple syrup and a one and a half cups of non-dairy milk. Now she used oat milk, but you can use almond milk, rice milk, soy milk. You can probably even use coconut milk if you want to, but I use the almond milk. This is starting to set up already. You want to put it in the refrigerator, of course, because you don't want to eat a warm pudding. Um, although this does taste pretty good, but you blend it up. I blended it up on custom blend two for a minute and it came out really really nice it blended it really nice um let me get my water out or take this out here. i'm gonna i'm gonna clean this out i'll leave this i'll leave that in there until i get until i get done with my my uh, periscope because this side i can't i can't put it on that side it's not working right but anyway it was a very simple very simple recipe to do um very easy and i thought well i told her i says i'm gonna try it in the deluxe cooking blender and see how it comes out so I just put it on custom blend two and blended it for a minute. And see like see how see how thick it's getting? It blended it already. This will go up on my vegan Facebook page so people can see what it looks like. Um, and you could try it yourself. Now, you don't have to be vegan to like it, but you want to use your cacao powder, go right ahead and use your cacao powder because it's all raw. And use your almond milk, you can use soy milk, whatever milk you have. I don't have any extra any extra milk besides almond milk, and I thought. And I don't have oat milk. I could make my own, but I didn't do it. She had bought some, I guess, at the store in a container. And she said, it, some for some reason, it makes it creamier. But I think this is okay because, I mean, look how it's thickening up already. It's not even in the refrigerator. It's already absorbing all that moisture. That's what the chia seeds do. Um, they're, they're real nice to, to have. People, and she said she used to make this without blending it in the blender, and she just mixed it around, but she said it's like grit. She says, no, thank you. So she decided to put it in a blender, and she just had a personal blender. It wasn't a, a Ninja, or it wasn't a um, Nutribullet. It was some kind of blender I've never seen, but it was a personal one, just a, just about a, a small cup, and she put everything in there and blended it. You know, and it's not a high-powered blender, but I thought, well, this being a high-powered blender, I can put, put, it, put it in here, and it'll work out great, and it did. It came out really good. That's what I wanted to do is use the, use the cooking blender for it um, instead of getting the Vitamix out, you know, and, and using that. Because that's what I got the cooking blender for because you can use this on custom blend. I've seen Alexis use it on ice cream, which I have to try ice cream in here yet. I haven't tried it yet because I know with, with the ice cream, you don't have to use the tamper quite as much. So um, with the Vitamix, you've got to keep tamping and tamping and tamping. And <laughs> you get tired. Your arms get tired. So... With this, you don't have to tap so much. So if anybody wants anything, um, Nikki said she's going to be hosting a party. Uh, join her party. And maybe you can get this at 60% off. This is $349 to start with. Um, this is an awesome product. You know, when I first saw, the, her, saw it, when she went, I think it was last June or July, when she was at the Patrick Chef uh, shindig they had, and she was getting it there, it was it July or August anyway, uh, she, it, it, we saw it on, on her periscope, but I'm thinking, well, I didn't like the looks of it. And once she got it and she started using it, I think, well, it doesn't look too bad, you know. 
because it's, it looks a lot different than most blender. But I, but you, when you think about the quick cooker and the ducks cooking blender, they're pretty much the looks of them are pretty much the same. So once, so it grew on me. So once I started using it, I said, well, this is awesome. And it's not hard to use. Probably people are intimidated by it, but I figured it out right away. I've used this quite a bit. I've made quite a few soups in it. I've made the marinara sauce. I haven't made the um, the 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 um, the one soup yet, the butternut squash soup yet. I'm kind of uh, wondering if I should. I, I I don't really like squash, but I might try it. I haven't made that one in here. Hi, good to see you. Welcome. This is my um, chocolate chia pudding. Good to see you. Welcome. And I blended this in my deluxe cooking blender. This is a Pampered Chef cooking blender. Um, and if you don't know, this is glass. This is made out of glass. It's very heavy. So you actually have an extra, like a, um, a, a, a an auxiliary handle, if you want to call it, to hang on to it. Because if you don't have that, you're going to drop it. Um, so I'm fine. How are you? Um, I'm doing great. And I apologize for not coming in yesterday and doing a scope at all, but I was... I was um, telling the ones that were in here previously or when I first come in that yesterday I hadn't got too much sleep the night before because for some unknown reason I don't know if I pulled a muscle or I had a muscle spasm or what I had but my back was hurting so much about on, on this side about the middle of my back it was hurting so bad that I couldn't hardly stand up and walk it just it the pain was intense and I didn't take anything for it because I didn't want to so I thought well, I'll just sit on my easy chair and let, lean back, and maybe it'll go away. And by the time I went to bed last night, it was completely gone. So it's a lot better today, but I don't know what happened. I really don't know. Have you ever had those where all of a sudden you get pains and you don't know how you got them? I don't know how I got it, but oh my goodness, it was terrible. It hurt so bad, and I thought, well, I'm just going to go coming in here and rest my back and, and stay in my chair and, and, and relax, put my feet up. I go to sleep too <laughs> and and make my back feel better and by the time I went to bed it felt so much better so that did help because I couldn't hardly sleep the night before I was tossing and turning and tossing and turning just could not sleep every position I laid in it hurt and I thought this is terrible but last night piece of cake I slept like a baby last night except having to get up with the dogs about 11 o'clock um, but after that I, I slept until the phone rang this morning so, but I, I don't understand it, but I do apologize for not coming in or say, hey, I was planning on coming in and, and doing a tutorial on my crafts, but it just didn't work out. But, I, but like I said, those that just came, that just came in, I'm still going to do cooking scopes, but not as much. I want to broaden my horizons to do a little bit more, my tutorials on my crafts, because there are people that are interested in those. Plus, I want to do some Bible scopes as well. I do my walking scopes. I want to kind of branch out. And if I just do cooking scopes, I haven't gotten a chance to branch out. So I'm kind of trying to to branch out a little bit. And with, with the um, cooking scopes, it takes a lot of money to buy your food, which everybody, which Alexis knows, <laughs> it's, it, get, it can get expensive to to fix every day, you know, or have to go to the store to buy stuff. And I'm on a fixed income, so I got to be careful. So I'm just going to limit how much I fix and fix um, when I when the time arises or when the, when I need to. And try to fix something that I can eat up within a day or two, not have a lot of it. Um, the soup that I fixed in the uh, quick, uh, quick cooker, I finally ate that up. It was real good soup. I got that finished. So that's gone. So now I can make something else again. I've been looking for different recipes all morning. But this recipe here, thank you to Erlene. To Erlene. She's the one that told me about it. She, she watches this gal on uh, YouTube called, with a channel called Vegan As Fork. Uh, I am too and so she told me about her so I looked her up on on my on my YouTube and I saw her there and I looked for this particular recipe and I printed it out so I would have it and I, I watched it and I thought well that's simple enough to make this I may I have made chocolate chia pudding before but it's been a lot different I've never put it into a blender I've just kind of stirred it up you put almond milk and chia seeds and kind of stirred up on the top but you can still see the chia seeds you can't see them quite as much now with it all blended up you know, it's, you can't see it as much. And it's already thickening up even without it being in the refrigerator. It'll absorb all that moisture. Um, but I do like coming in here and showing you different different uh, things that I can do. Um, I want to show you my crafts because there are people that are interested in crafts. I know not everybody's going to be, and those that aren't, 
And I'm not worried about that. If you don't feel like coming in on the crafts ones, don't. But there are some that want to watch me do crafts because they want to learn how to do a certain project or want to learn how to make something, knitting or crocheting, whatever it might be. So I thought I could come in and I could show you how to do that. Because right now I'm, I'm making me some socks on a, on a knitting loom that are real fine. They're, they're real, real uh, thin um, metal um, pegs. And the, and the yarn is real, real fine. It's super fine. It's hard to work with, but I've made socks on it before and it comes out real good. So I want to do that too. But I want to expand a little bit, you know. Come in here and still do cooking skulls, but do other things as well. Kind of do a variety, you know. They say variety is the spice of life. But I'm not going to stay away from cooking altogether because I really enjoy coming in here and doing these. It's just it's getting a little bit expensive and I need to tone it down just a little bit and do other things that don't take quite near as much time to do and don't take as, as <laughs> take a lot of money to do because um, I want to I want to be able to do other things that people might enjoy that too because I for some unknown reason I'm not getting as many in here on the cooking scopes as I do on my craft scopes or my walking scopes or any of the other scopes I do I don't get as many in here on these as I do on the others so I thought I brought uh, broaden my horizons maybe I'll get more people in there and I know Alexis gets quite a few on her cooking scope but uh, she comes on real early in the morning a lot earlier than than I I could because I'm asleep when she comes on. So I don't I don't come in there and see her. I watch her replay later, however. But she does cooking scopes, and that's good for her because she does she does real good and, and she knows what she's doing and what she does she does a good job at it. She's actually better at it than I am. I, I'm learning a few things from her, I guess you know. And uh, but we can all learn from each other, you know. And it's like she said, if she can do it. Anybody can do it. You can do it in your home. Make the food yourself. Don't rely on the processed foods in the store because when you get those processed foods in the for in the uh, in the in the store, you're going to have a lot of chemicals in them. You're going to have a lot of chemicals, and chemicals are not good. They are not good for you. By the way, Alexis, I since I I have to watch your Periscope from this morning. Did you lose anything any um this last week? Because I didn't see. Your scope this morning, if you mentioned it, if you lost any weight, did you lose any weight? Because I'm always enthused when you go to Weight Watchers and if you've lost anything at all. Because, I mean, you're an inspiration to a lot of us. You know, she's getting to look really good. You know, she's taking care of herself. She's eating better than she was, you know. And she's watching her points. And that's what Weight Watchers, you do. You watch your points, you know. So, oh, good. You lost some more. Awesome. So how much have you lost altogether now? So I know it was 27 pounds la of the week before. Oh, awesome. Wow, almost a pound again. You're doing so good. Wow. You are going to be floating away pretty soon. You're going to be you're going to be the ever shrinking Alexis pretty soon. You know, my family's the same thing. They've lost 50 and 60 pounds a piece pretty much being on weight watchers. Um 29. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I think my Daughter-in-law, she's lost over 50. My uh, son-in-law, or my grandson, no, my grandson has lost, uh, well, no, my grandson isn't on, uh, isn't on Weight Watchers. He decided to eat too. My granddaughter, she's lost about 45, I think, and my son's lost about almost 50 pounds. But they are looking so much better, so much better. And they're, and they're counting the points, especially my granddaughter. My son says she watches everything she eats. She will measure everything out that she puts on her plate. She won't put anything on her plate if, if she doesn't measure it out first. So she's really trying to watch her. She's, and I can't believe that she's looking so much better than, than she was too. It's amazing when you, when you, when you uh, start to lose weight, how you look so much better and you feel better too. I'm not on Weight Watchers, but just being on my vegan diet has helped me because it makes me feel better because I've, I've accomplished what I set out to do. I wish I could do a little bit more. But, you know, as, as the saying goes, you, you gain some and you lose some. It's not real simple. But if I, I'm thankful that I've gotten as far as I have. And I'll take whatever the Lord gives me. I just don't want to go back up to where I used to be. Because at one point before I started on this diet, or this lifestyle, I should say. I don't call it a diet. I call it a lifestyle. I was 250 pounds. And I did not like the way I looked. I, I shrugged at myself. I said, Karen, you look terrible. You need to do something about it. So that's why I decided I've got to take the bull by the horns and start eating better and start making sure 
that I stick with it. And I am glad, I'm glad I've stuck with it. And I'm glad anybody that's on a, a, a different lifestyle, and I consider what you're doing a, a lifestyle, Alexis, not a diet. It's a lifestyle because it should stick with you the rest of your life. That you're maintaining your, your weight and you're losing all the time. And that's great. Hi, good to see you, Tammy. Welcome. Here's my chia chocolate pudding or chocolate chia pudding, which I made up in the deluxe cooking blender. I'm sitting it here because I still got dishwater yet and I've got stuff in there. I want to finish them out before I, before I empty this out. But I did I did wash wash it out real good. It's not going to hurt to leave it sit here. But anyway, I use this deluxe cooking blender because it mixed it up a lot better. Yeah, it's starting to thicken up already. And if you want to know what I've got in it, I've got a half a cup of chia seeds in there, uh, two pinches of salt, which I use sea salt, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a quarter cup, it calls for raw cacao powder, but everybody knows I use carob, so I put carob in there, um, a, half, a quarter cup of pure maple syrup, and I, I thought I didn't have any maple syrup, and I was going to use agave, but I did have some, so I used that. You could probably use agave if you want to, instead of maple syrup, I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, and a cup and a half of non-dairy milk, almond milk, soy milk, rice milk. Now, the lady used oat milk. If you want to do that, you can too. Now, with those that are just coming in, this is a recipe that Erlene had found on YouTube, and she sent it to me in iMessage. And I looked the recipe up on my iPad, and I watched her make it. And I said, well, that's simple enough to make, so then I, cop I printed it out so I would have, have it in a uh, hard copy of it, and I could come in here and make it. And it's simple. Because chia seeds are healthy for you. They're real good. When you mix it up in there, see, you can't hardly see anything. Look, it's real nice and smooth. <laughs> oh, awesome. Yes, I'm going to post this up on my vegan page. When I get off of here, it's going to go on my vegan page so people can see what, what, what it looks like. Because I know people will want to try it. Um, like I said, if you got the cacao powder, you want to use that, go ahead and use that. You don't have to use carob. You don't have to be a vegan to like this or, or make this yet at all. But since I don't use cacao powder and I don't use, I don't use cocoa, I use carob, it makes it a little bit darker, but that's okay. It's going to probably be lighter with the cacao powder than it would be with this, but that's no problem. I mean, everything is raw, and if you've got soy milk, you want to use that, or rice milk or coconut milk, just use that. You don't have to use particularly to use almond milk. That's all I have, so I use that. You know, you have to make do with what you've got, because, you know, to buy every little thing... <coughs> It's expensive, and I know how that how expensive things can be. Let me tell you. So I like to cut back when I can, and not overdo. So that's why I'm going to come in here every once in a while, every few days, and do a cooking scope, but still get them done. Maybe three times a week, three four times a week, but I won't do them five, six, seven times a week. But I'll come in here as much as I can. Want to find a recipe? that I want to make, that I know that you guys want to see made, I'll make it. I'm still going to look on Pinterest every day for different recipes. I did find a skillet taco one I think I'm going to do, though. Uh, uh, you can eat it for breakfast, you can eat it for snack, and you can also eat, eat it as a dessert. Any of those. Any of those at all. Once it goes in the refrigerator, it'll stay in the refrigerator until tomorrow morning. So you can eat it any way you want. So, because um, that's what the lady said. You can use it for a dessert, you can eat it for breakfast, for a snack or however, whatever you want to eat it, however you want to use it, you can feel free. And she put um, non-dairy whipped cream on it, but I don't have that. So if you want to put whipping cream on it that you have, feel free to put whipping cream on the top. You can do whatever. Um, I'm just going to eat it the way it is because I think it's going to be good just, just, just like this. Um, but like I said, you don't have to be vegan to like this or even make it because... Um, I don't push my veganism on anybody, and Alexis doesn't push the way she eats on anybody either. You you make things the way you want them, and a lot of the things that, that Alexis make, I can turn around and, and make them vegan if I want to. So that's what I do. You know, I'm not I'm not going to worry about what she makes because I'll just change it, change the recipe later. But uh, I don't. Um, what's the texture? Well, it's a little bit different than than it would normally be. As you can see, it's very very. Um, well, it's kind of it's smooth. When it comes in this deluxe cooking blender, it comes out a lot smoother because I could I put it on custom blend two for one minute. I figured that was long enough. You can't see the chia seeds as much in here as you could before. When you just stir it up, you see all those chia seeds. They're all on top. <coughs> so the texture is a lot better. It's not as gritty. You don't want the grit. 
and it does taste pretty good. Um, I probably could have added a little bit more maple syrup or even used agave, but I think I'm going to leave it just the way it is. Once it all comes together, you know, you put it in the refrigerator and everything goes together. It tastes better anyway. Like this, it isn't as good as when you put it in the refrigerator and everything, because anything you make, whatever you make, <coughs> you put, you know, a salad, you put everything together, those, those, all those flavors are going to blend together in the refrigerator and it's going to make it taste a little bit better than, you would, than it would if you didn't put it in the refrigerator. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator because I don't want to eat a warm pudding anyway. So that's why I'm going to do that. Pardon me, I have to have water in my while. It's it, The texture is much, much better than if I didn't use the deluxe cooking blender. Because I mentioned to Arlene, I says, I'm going to try to make it in the deluxe cooking blender and see how it does. And it did. I think it did really well. Put it on custom blend. And I put, what I like about the custom blend is you can control the speed. You can control <coughs> how long it blends. You can stop it when you want to. So when I got to a minute, I just pushed in the button and stopped it. You know. Now, the lady that made this on YouTube, she blended it for three minutes, but she didn't have this either. She used a, something similar to a, a, to a Ninja or a Nutribullet, which isn't as powerful, high powerful as this is. She said you don't have to use a high power blender, so I guess her use it three minutes really came out smooth. But I thought a minute would be long enough because it mixes everything up together, and you can see it's all nice and creamy. And uh, this will go in the refrigerator. It'll be go on my Facebook page first. It'll, it'll be nice and creamy, and I know it's going to be good, and I'm going to eat this tomorrow. Welcome to those that are coming in, and thank you for coming in. I do appreciate this very much, because you don't know how, how blessed I am to have you here. If it weren't for you guys being here, I don't know what I would do, because it's because of you I come in here every day. And it's like Alexa said, if she can do it, anybody can do it. You can make anything that she makes in your own home. If you put your mind to it, you can make anything that you want. I don't want I don't want to rely on the manufacturers and the processed foods. Because have you ever looked at the ingredients of some of those processed foods, how processed they really are? Oh my goodness, the stuff that goes into them could curl your hair. It really makes you makes you upset that, that and you don't know where those chemicals are coming from. They're not good for your body. So it's best to make it yourself and that way you know exactly what you put into it. You've made it with your own hands. Um, oh, the soup turned out awesome. It turned out really good, and I ate the rest of it up already, so it's gone. It was really good. I probably could have used the immersion blender maybe a little bit longer, but I think it came out good as it was. Um, it did taste real good. I put it on my vegan page. It's all, it's up. Or I don't think I put it up on YouTube yet. I have to do that yet. <laughs> I'm always forgetting to put stuff up on YouTube, and then when I put something up on YouTube, I end up with the wrong title, and I end up with the wrong the wrong description because Arlene found one that was supposed to have been for the uh, it was supposed to have been the fudge but it ended up being my shepherd's pie and she told me about it so I said well I just deleted the whole the whole um, thing off of YouTube I deleted the video went on my Facebook copied and pasted what I had on Facebook and put it into the YouTube app and uploaded it again now the correct information is there so basically what I have to do is go through all those periscopes on my on my uh, YouTube uh, or on my <laughs> on camera roll, play them to see what I've made because I always tell you what I'm making at the very beginning. So I play it a little bit to see what I'm making and then I stop it and then I find the recipe for it and then I post it up on YouTube. So I've got to start doing this more. That should be my resolution to try to get more things up on YouTube because I've been neglecting getting them up there and I've got way too much, too many on my camera roll that I don't know where what they are. And even that one that I did before Christmas on my crocheting. I haven't even put that up there yet. It's still on my, but I know what it is. So I can go in there because that's different. That's not even a cooking scope. So I'll go in there and take care of that one too. Get it up on YouTube. It doesn't really matter what I'm putting them up there as long as they get up there. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna, that's one of my resolutions is to do more um, other kinds of scopes besides cooking scopes and to get things up on my vegan Facebook page and do things up, getting things up on YouTube. If you're not following me on YouTube, feel free to follow me on YouTube. Uh, under my, my first and last name, you know what my first and last name are, just, just search for me there. I've got all my videos into playlists. And so you can, you can find anything that you're searching for in that playlist. And uh, my desserts are in one. i got Instapot uh, recipes and dessert recipes and different playlists. 
And so you just go in there and search what you're looking for, and I'm sure you'll find it. I mean, I've got probably close to 500 on there now, or getting close to 500 um, videos on my YouTube channel. I keep adding on to them all the time. I enjoy posting things up there, and uh, I don't get a lot of comments on them, but that's okay. That's, that doesn't really bother me. I just hope that people are looking at them and seeing them, and I do get people watching them, just not as many as I would hope, but... The channel is there, so if you want to follow me on, on YouTube, feel free to chop follow me. I think I've got something close to two, close, almost 200 people following me now. So that's pretty good for me. Um, I didn't know how it was going to take off, but it's taken off pretty good. And I know Alexis, she's got a YouTube channel, so you can follow her on YouTube. I follow her as well. So find her on YouTube and follow her. Um, I've got a lot of subscriptions, and I go through them all. And uh, some of them I'm going to have to start deleting. If I don't watch them anymore, I'll start deleting them, but... Most of them I'm gonna keep, but I'll just I'll just kind of wait, uh, kind of you know strat, uh, search them out anyway. But I think I'm gonna go in a little bit because I want to post this up on my page and I want to finish my dishes because I've got some dishes to, to have to do so I can get this cleaned out. But I'm gonna hold this up and I thank everybody for coming in and I'll probably come in tomorrow. Hopefully come in tomorrow, God willing. Now and nothing co co happens that I'll do my my uh, crafting scopes because I know people want that as well. So. Until we meet again, I hope you, hope you all have a great and marvelous night. And take care. God bless. And until we meet again, bye-bye.